Hey Stoner fan, Bob the Green Scientist. I do not know what's going on with my phone and my video. It just keeps cutting out and I keep losing everything. So hopefully I can get at least the infusion part done. I have a full length video on my YouTube channel on how to do decarbing in your Instapot. But I'll kind of give you a quick little rundown. Right there is now my decarb cannabis. I'm gonna give that a little second to kind of sit. I do not want to open it up because it's kind of difficult. And then also I put the strings in there to kind of help it. This is the second time I've done it, so I'm still kind of working out all the kinks and everything. And then I just used my Instapot Lux right here, and you're just gonna set it on uh, for manual for 40 minutes, and then just let it do its thing. And then once it's done, you just pull it out right over there. And then we have right here my sous vide bath almost ready to go uh, for doing the infusions. So I'm going to get going here in a little bit and I'll be right back. Man, I wish you guys could be here in my kitchen. This <clears throat> decarb cannabis smells so good right now. So now we're going to get our three different infusions going. And at uh, one infusion, it's a half cup of butter. And then we're going to do... Uh, two grams of decarbed cannabis with this one. This is gonna make our peanut butter cups, which yields 18 or eight uh, peanut butter cups. So this is gonna give us a nice strong peanut butter cup at about 52 milligrams per, uh, per serving. Then I got my uh, another cup of butter here. This is gonna be for my cookies. Um, I do sheet pan cookies just cause it's easier for me. Um, this yields about 40 cookies. I'm gonna be adding um, eight grams of decarbed cannabis to that, and that's gonna give me about a 42 milligram per cookie um, on the THC. And then on this back one, this is just gonna be for normal baking around the house, and that's cup right there. And I'm gonna be adding five grams of decarbed cannabis and giving us a THC of 21 milligrams per teaspoon. As you can see over here, my little notes that I've been making. These are all the stuff that I'm making. I keep a journal on everything. Just so that way I know what I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and get these canning jars all filled up. And then we'll be right back with you. Hey guys, I'm back here. So I got all my uh, decarb cannabis sitting in some cheesecloth. So I make these little bundles so that way... When I do my infusion, I don't have to worry about straining it at the end. I can just go ahead and squeeze this out um, really well back into the uh, container. And then I can just throw it all away, which makes it really nice. So once I get these jars all loaded up, I'll get, show you getting into the uh, sous vide bath. And we'll get those infusions going for some good food. So here are my little bundles of joy right here. So this is going to be for the peanut butter cups. Um, so... As you can tell, it's not very much, but the, because of the recipe only yields eight servings, by the time all you do your infusions with a half a cup of butter, we're looking at a 52 milligram per, uh, 52 milligrams of THC per peanut butter cup. So they are gonna be pretty strong. Then I got my uh, five grams here of decarb. This is just for my normal day-to-day -day cooking. That's gonna yield me about a 21 milligram THC per teaspoon. And then, Here's the, my other one, my eight, uh, eight grams. This is gonna be for my uh, sheet pan cookies. And <clears throat> my sheet pan cookies yields about 40 servings, and this is gonna give me about a 42 milligram of THC per serving. Um, the most important thing to do is a uh, dosage calculator. I have one in my pinned tweet on my Twitter page, Bob the Green Scientist, uh, so that way you can go in. If you have any questions or anything, you're always more than welcome to reach out to me. I'm more than willing to try to answer any questions. We're all learning this together, and I want to make this as enjoyable for everybody. So let me get these jars all put together, and then I'll show you once they go into the sous vide bath, and then I'm going to take a nap after this. So as you can see, everything is now in, in this little weighted basket. Put, make sure you put a cover on it, because if you don't, it, the, the uh, cans will float to the top. I found out the hard way and then it's a mess. <laughs> so one thing you need to make sure is that after you fill them, wipe the edges really good to make sure that there is no food or butter or oil or anything on that top edge. And also do not 
put on the uh, lids too tight. Just put them on finger tight and that should be good to go for you. So bath is all ready to go. So now all I have to do is just drop this in. This is the fun part. Okay, hold on. Okay, take two. This is why you need a good pair of gloves if you're going to be working around hot water. And like I said, that I'm not perfect. I'm learning just like you guys. We all have fun. I need to add a little bit more weight to this. And then we're going to set this for four hours and then it's going to sit there for four hours and wait till I'm ready for it. I'm going to go take a nap and then we'll come back in four hours and we will check this out. Take care guys.